is not 100% fixed, so. It is much better though. It is much better. It is much better, I'll give them that much. But everybody in this vehicle is still a little bit skeptical. But today we are headed out for a fun family adventure to the Udvarhazi Air and Space Museum. We're meeting up with some of my family and we're just gonna go exploring and have fun. So this tower up here, when you go up in it, it lets you see the planes from Dulles Airport, Dulles International Airport. It lets you watch the planes landing and taking off. It's really cool. And there's ah, Shelby's favorite part. Climbing on the boulder. All right, so last day home. It is Labor Day weekend. We're at Clearbrook Park with some friends. We're gonna play some pickleball, hang out at the pool. Hopefully I don't die. There's everybody down there playing already. Got two courts going. It's gonna be a good time. Here is my parents and Aunt many parents playing pickleball. Whose parents? Aunt Maddie's parents. Whoops, they're not my parents. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, we're back here after the pool. What you doing, Jordan? What you cooking me? All right, marinated steak, red peppers, yellow peppers, onion, chicken going on next, rice upstairs, jalapeno poppers upstairs. You're doing burgers, right? Yeah. Hot dogs on the grill. How's the cook doing? Is he hot, cold? I'm all right so far. You sure? Yep, I got my Truly. Good to go? We'll see y'all come grub time. Maybe. Maybe not. One, two. You're gonna die. My dad's drunk already. Yeah. Yeah, so he shouldn't do that. Look. That was 10% better than the first time. You're gonna die. It's skateboard. It's the skateboard. You leave. It's because it All right, so we were visiting friends out in West Virginia and pretty close to where Nick and I bought our first house. So we decided we'd take the kids back. Go for a drive down memory lane. Here we go. shed over there. Yeah. I built that with my own two hands. And the garage that's behind the house that we didn't want to drive all the way back down to see. <laughs> Daddy built a paint booth in and Daddy fixed cars and painted cars out of it.
All right, so we have some news. We are leaving the house back again to go road. back to our RV. The truck is packed. Mighty Marshmallow is in much better shape now. We're much happier. The kids are in the truck. They are absorbing leaving again, friends and family. But we are excited to get back on the road. See you on the road. And let's go. walk up it says here 8 46 and 30 seconds a.m. the first World Trade Center American Airlines flight 11 903 and 2 seconds a.m. the second World Trade Center was hit by United Airlines flight 175 37 and 46 seconds a.m. the Pentagon was hit by American Airlines Flight 77. This is as we are walking into the visitor center. in the visitor center but if you are ever in the area please make time to go it was so moving every American should go and see and read and listen to what they have to say in here and share about that day on September 11 2001 After quite a few weeks of issues with the truck and worrying me, we ended up getting the ring and pinion replaced, both the rear wheel bearings, some seals, and carrier bearing, and that got most of the noise away, not completely all of it. Uh, but we are back on the road again. We are back traveling. Uh, just one thing that you know, full timers, you got to think about with pulling a fifth wheel trailer is something goes wrong with your truck you're stuck unless you get a rental uh, you rhymed because <laughs> <laughs> uh, the loaner that they give you isn't going to be a full-size truck it's going to be a little four-door coupe so you can't pull anything around you just got to think about it I mean not that it's going to stop us or anybody that really wants to enjoy this lifestyle but uh, you know we, we thought about that a little bit before we left um, a little bit a very little bit and we did realize that that if something would happen to the truck we'd be stuck like oh you know, it's a low mileage truck. It's it'd be in great shape. It'll be good to go. Cross no that problems. bridge when we get there. And then we had truck problems. And then pulling a 16, 17,000 pound trailer uh, made me nervous as a mechanic because I've seen things blow up. I've seen things happen. I've seen the noises that my truck was making. I've seen what happens if you let it go for too long and it wasn't going to be pretty. And I didn't want to risk that with my family. So we had to take a pause, go home, see friends and family which was a blessing in disguise it was. that was awesome luckily it was on labor day weekend it was the last weekend we were there we were able to spend time with friends and family and catch up with everybody and just have a good old time yeah and it was it was needed for mor a morale boost for all of us i think with all the truck issues that were happening all the adjustments and everything it was a good morale boost it all worked out the way it was supposed to it was a good reset and then uh, back on the road we went Everybody was sad again about leaving everybody, but we were really excited to get back to the trailer, get it out of storage, set up camp again, and that first campfire felt amazing. Oh, it was amazing. 
We're so, excited to be back. We're excited to be back. So we just want to wrap up this video. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you all down the road.